I'm Mike Apple in the 680 Newsroom. I was back to work for the Canadian markets today after the four-day Christmas break, and uh, TSX Composite hit an intraday record high. Now, the trading volumes were pretty light. Same thing on Wall Street. A lot of people are away this week and not trading, and it's been a pretty good year uh, with just uh, now two days left in the trading sessions uh, for the TSX and Wall Street markets. But uh, nevertheless, the buyers were out today on the Canadian markets, led by one particular component of the market, and those were the medical marijuana producers. This group of stock has been a top performer in the later stages of 2017 in preparation for the legalization of weed in 2018. Lots of buying interest. Some of these stocks have uh, more than doubled over the course of this year. Uh, Aurora Cannabis, Cannabis and uh, Canamed are engaged in uh, takeover battle. So we've seen uh, a lot of trading activity on these uh, particular companies on a daily basis. On Wall Street today, we saw the Dow Jones up a little bit, but uh, overall very light trading activity in a year that has seen the Dow Jones go up by 25%. The NASDAQ, the tech stock's been up even better by 28% on the year. And uh, one of the winners for 2017 has been Apple. Now, over the past couple of days, it's been down a little bit on reduced forecasts for the iPhone 10. But also, Apple facing as many as eight lawsuits after the company admitted that it was throttling back the speeds on some older iPhones to compensate for uh, the phones dealing with new operating systems, which were draining battery power too quickly. The lawsuits contend that Apple should have just replaced those batteries. Whether or not it goes into a class action status remains to be seen. Uh, stock of Apple still up around $170 per share and up by more than 40% for the year. Late year rally for the Canadian dollar up for a sixth day in a row today. And a lot of that has to do with the rising price for commodities. The price for oil hitting a two and a half year high at almost $60 per barrel. And we also have seen base metals, copper, for example, today close to a four year high. And that's good news, particularly for Canadian mining companies and energy producers going into 20. 18. Now, the Canadian dollar is up for six days in a row. Bitcoin's been all over the map. Attracted today as high as $16,000 U.S., which was a 50% rally from last Friday when Bitcoin traded briefly below $11,000 U.S. Today, it was still down around $15,500, but uh, over the course of this year, up by about uh, oh, 1,400%. So, I mean, it's been a massive rally for those cryptocurrencies, and we'll see if that trend continues into the new year. From the 680 Newsroom, I'm Mike Apple for City News.